We're getting Quinn's booty out on Instagram. Corgi butts drive me nuts. Hey guys, what's going on? It's John and Morgan with Long Haul Lifesavers, where we cover anything from travel nursing to RV living. And today's episode of COVID Corner is coming at you. Cheers. So on today's episode of COVID Corner, we realized that we've been shooting these videos for a while and you really don't know a whole lot about us. So this is going to kind of be a, uh, a get to know us episode. I'm Morgan. <laughs> I'm John. You should know that by now. Yeah. Mia, the husky. And then Quinn, the corgi. She was in last week's COVID Corner. She was the needy one. I don't think Mia's been in any of them. Mia yet. has not been. Mia's camera shy. She's, yeah. Yeah, she is. She's sitting under the table right now. Hiding. Yeah, getting. What's she doing, baby? You want to come make an appearance? She loves her daddy. <laughs> Mia here. Yeah, husky life. So, a little bit about me. I was raised in Indiana and Texas, product of divorced home. I was raised in Indiana and Florida, also product of divorce. Yep. Uh, Morgan and I met in college. We did not go to the same college, no, though. No, we went to a bonfire. My roommate at the time. <laughs> had uh his brother just bought a house so he had a housewarming bonfire and stuff so we met there and um, how did i how did i meet you at the bonfire you had you asked somebody to drive you to taco bell and i was the dumb one to do it yeah but why did i ask you to drive me because you were drunk i was drunk looking back i got in the car with a complete stranger to go to taco bell because i was hungry because i'm a fat kid at heart it actually was the best thing i ever did so she says now but super Check weird back in 10 years see yeah how that goes super weird so we're not from the same areas at all um we did not go to the same schools nothing like that we both ended up at the same bonfire and then we went to taco bell and his roommate was with him at the time and i started talking with him and he said what high school he had gone to and I asked him if he knew my best friend. They grew up together from kindergarten through 12th grade. So it was kind of weird, small world. It's, it's funny because she was actually too shy to talk to me. <laughs> no, this is happening. She was too shy to talk to me. So she got my roommate's number, who she wasn't interested in, and led him on to believe that she was interested in him. I but really, she wanted to be with me. I so. didn't lead him on. Yes, you did. My roommate thought that you were all about him. Like, it was well, all you could talk about. And then when you were like, dropped him like a bad habit he was all heartbroken no so. i was interested in him all along i don't think that i led him on okay <laughs> okay but who who was the first one to say i love you i by accident <laughs> That was total by accident. I was late for class. And so, uh, I was over It's like one of those involuntary, bye, I love you. And you're like, uh, what did and I I'm just sitting, say? And I'm sitting on his couch in his living room, and he had slammed the door to his apartment. And as soon as he said it, I just kind of sat there and thought, what did he just say? And then the door flings back open. He's like, I... I, I didn't mean to say that. And I was like, it's okay. It's all right. <laughs> and so then we didn't talk about it for like a week, I feel like. Okay. Because it was awkward. Yeah. For you. Obviously, my degree is in, I have a bachelor's in nursing. And you know, list off all your degrees. Yeah, so I have a bachelor's in criminal justice with a minor in um, psychology. And then I have a master's in criminal justice with a concentration in forensic psychology. That's, a lot of words. Yeah, a yeah. lot of initials after the name. Um, but obviously, I don't use my degree anymore because we're on the road. And it's kind of hard to do any type of job related to that 13 weeks at a time. And we've been lucky enough that we, you know, we were in a two income household for, well, the whole time we weren't traveling, obviously. Travel nursing does allow us to be okay doing a one one income household yeah. so uh which is good because he's a full-time job so <laughs> screw you i'm a full-time job i know that <laughs> no um but people do ask they're like do you get bored do you do you have any way that you make income what do you do um and sometimes i'm i'm lucky enough at some of the rv parks that we live at to camp host so i don't necessarily make money off of doing that but i am able to pay our rent a lot of times by doing that so there's no actual you know monetary value it's just you're working at whatever rv park you are and then that pays for your site and then some some parks include they pay for your electric or some it's just your site and you still pay your electric so we just gave the dog's bone Jesus. and one of them farted <laughs> so bad. So we got married in 2013, yep. so seven years ago. Yep. That was fun. <laughs> if we could do it over, we would just elope. We would not waste yeah. any of the money on a wedding. Yeah. Um, we didn't even, we didn't get to eat. No, they didn't took really our, to drink. They, they took our food before we got to eat. So. Yeah, we ended up getting McDonald's on the way home. We did. Him in a yeah. tux and me in a wedding dress and we went to yeah. McDonald's. <laughs> 
<laughs> so when we first started traveling, we were doing apartments and living out of a cargo box trailer that we bought that lasted for all of three months. And then we decided we hated apartments and bought an RV. Our first one was pretty crappy. Yeah, really bad. Uh, I'm not gonna mention the name, but it was a Heartland Torque. <laughs> And it was a piece of crap. I swear. No, there was flooding, electrical fires, the Any, anything tanks that fell out gone from wrong, underneath. Yeah, went wrong in that. Yeah, it was bad. We took it to Phoenix, and it was in the middle of summer. It's like 130 degrees forever. It's Satan's butthole is what I called that place. It was horrible. Even the wind, there was. No, it was just like someone holding a hairdryer in your face. So it was horrible. We had one AC, 32 foot, and we couldn't get it below 100 degrees. So it was horrible. Um, finally, we got tired of it and um, ended up getting the 2017 Van Lee Volano that we're in now. Mm -hmm. We've loved it. It's been awesome. Yeah, it's kind of been our. Haven't had any home. issues with it since day one. The only thing I wish we did have was like a like an office space or like a bunkhouse kind of thing. Um, yeah, but that, back then they didn't have um, the, the brand that we have right now. Uh, they only had two models, but now they've got a bunch of different floor yeah. plans. When they come so, out with a bunkhouse, I'll be looking into that one. A mid bunk. You want a mid bunk. A mid bunk, yeah. yeah. I want a mid bunk. Lux, which is a relatively new company as well, and it looked awesome. They had a mid bunk uh, bath and a half. We liked it. It's a little longer. Uh, right now we're 40 foot and this the Lux is 45 foot so no but, 43 was it 43 something like that but we we have a dually so we won't have an issue speaking of the dually mm. so my truck we just bought it like four months ago and the wheel bearing went out this is the my third ram that i've had this is the only time i've ever had to take it to the shop for mechanical issues out yep. of all the rams that i've had so it's under warranty of course so they fixed it no questions asked they delivered the truck we weren't able to see if it was actually fixed or not so i drove it to work the next day and it was still making the noise so I called them again. They came and picked it up and found out it actually was a wheel bearing. That's been replaced. Now it's good. It's not making the noise anymore. So hopefully this is the only issue we're going to have with this Ram. Like I said, I've had three over the years. It's been six years. <sighs> quarantine. This quarantine needs to be over. <laughs> what would you say my hobbies are? I like photography. Collecting dogs. I would love to collect dogs. My, my entire goal in life is to have 15 huskies. I want my own sled team. Oh, which that was a really cool. It's actually in our intro video. There's two photos of it. But um, for our anniversary last year, we were in Bend, Oregon. And we had rented a house. Went with us, another couple. And so that everyone could go snowboarding and skiing. And for our anniversary, he surprised me. And pulled up to the uh, mountain. And he goes, we're going to go way up there and we're gonna tube it and I was like no I'm not doing that you know and uh, so we come up around the corner and there's just hundreds of dogs everywhere <laughs> and then we went on a six mile um, sled ride and that yeah, was up through the mountains yeah that was really cool and those dogs they haul butt there was one point where we we're going down a slight little hill mm -hmm. and we were doing almost 30 miles an hour yeah like and I said and like the most amazing thing to me which I know this is gross but they poop while they run while they're running. <laughs> And yeah. these dogs do not skip a beat. They just keep on pulling. And um, yeah. even yeah. when you're stopped and you have like a an ice hook mm -hmm. in the ground to That's... keep you from going anywhere, they're still like pulling at the harness yeah. trying to go. So yeah, and that you have a musher that stands on the back, you know, and and he has a brake that he stands on, so that kind of digs into the ground. And then they have that additional one that he's talking about. And that whole sled, I mean, because the sled was what 300 pounds. Yeah. And then both of us on it, and then the musher on it. So we've got well over, I'd say at least almost a thousand pounds. Yeah, probably. Yeah, and um, 800. So our end goal for all this crazy journey is to eventually find a place where we want to live, buy a nice little piece of ground, and we want to build one of those barn dominium pole mm -hmm. barn houses. We want about a thousand square feet of living space, if and that. then and then we want about three thousand square foot of garage space. We also want to have two big bay doors so we can pull our RV in it. And what the plan is to live in the RV while I'm work while building. I'm building the house portion of it. And then we're gonna have a little piece of land so we can have a couple horses, some cattle. I grew up on a farm and ranch, so um, I'd like to get back to doing that. And we also want to do a little RV park. Yeah. Nothing Nothing super huge, just something for us to kind of kick around, tool around. But what I'm hearing you say is that since we're going to have horse and cattle and all that, that I get to have my 15 huskies. No, not 15 huskies. <laughs> and they're all going to be inside. No, God, That's no. That's the even better no, you part. Can have, you can have at most two dogs inside. I'm getting 15 huskies. No, she's not. Our corgi, she kind of happened upon us. Some sick person dumped her out in the middle of nowhere in New Mexico. Our vet actually is the one that found her. And she was, he thought maybe around six weeks old. What? 
So, so anyways, we had taken our husky into the vet. The vet kind of waited for us to show up because he knows I'm a sucker. Yeah. And he's like, exactly here's this beautiful little puppy. And she came home with us. And she honestly has been the best dog I've ever owned. Okay. Do you not agree? I mean, she's smart. She picks up on things quickly. She's brilliant. She has only pottied in the house one time. So we've seen a, a couple places, but Michigan seems to be really standing out where there's, you know, protesting starting and people are starting to get really antsy about the whole yeah. staying home um, or stay in shelter or whatever they're calling it. Shelter in place. Shelter in place. We actually ran to town today. We had to get propane because it has been cold here and we've run out. So we need it for the furnace. And town was crazier yeah. than oh it Lord. has ever been. So people are definitely it seems like getting there was not annoyed. a single you know how big walmart parking lots are there was not a single parking spot open i still had to wait like 10 minutes just to get into walmart anyways what what we're saying though is so people are definitely starting to get irritated with staying home i feel you and we are irritated as well and trust me if everybody had just done it actually stayed at home from the get-go we could have all been done with this like a long time ago but now this is going to continue to stretch out and you know we've been saying all along that our town is like two weeks behind the rest of the country well now i feel like we're two weeks ahead of the rest of the country yeah. in in becoming a hot spot area um just overnight it went from 71 cases to 82 cases and it just keeps mounting and if you think about we have a county population of 65,000 people and we have 82 cases that's that's a lot for this small of an area mm -hmm. by the way so in our last covid corner he said that he had applied or maybe i said it uh he had applied for his colorado Cold. nursing license um and he got fingerprinted and paid for everything and filled it all out online and then the very next day uh, his license was already sent took like to him. 12 hours yeah and which is weird because normally colorado takes what is it eight to eight twelve to ten weeks or eight to ten weeks yeah. this whole this whole covid thing has kind of shed some light for the nursing community about how much bs the nursing licensure yeah. is well <laughs> getting separate licenses for yes. each state it's it's a national it's test so it should be a national license that's but. all it is and the fact that half the states are compact and half aren't, and it's just ridiculous. Yeah. And then and, and also getting your license back in 12 hours shows how inefficient they normally operate if it takes them eight to 10 weeks. Miss Queen of Description over here. <laughs> Gotta use them adjectives. N no, because <laughs> you start out on one story and then you I take know. every avenue off of that story, but never get to the but that's story. how my mind works that's, so when we no travel one else's mind works like well that. it should so when we travel together it's super funny because he i will just blurt out something and he's like where on earth did you come up with that and it's like well i looked at that butterfly which made me look at this which made me look at that and that's how i got all the way to you know and to me that's like a normal train of thought but it'll be something random like <laughs> she'll just be sitting there and be like gummy bear should be made out of marshmallows like <laughs> Babies aren't dishwasher safe. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Snapple. Oh, but that, see, she did it. No, no. Well, kind of. But yeah. so, so that is something that is new for us because this entire time we have been in separate vehicles. So he has the truck pulling the RV, and I am in whatever my car is behind him it with so nice with the dogs. And so he gets to be all peaceful by himself. <laughs> I'm not telling him how to drive. And we just sold my my Jeep. So. Um, we have ridden together one time and that was from Abilene, Texas to here. And so that was a short little drive. That's actually the shortest yeah, drive we've ever done. done. Um, we used it as a test run. Yeah. <laughs> see if I had to buy her a truck or yeah. not. Yeah, it should be really interesting because our next contract, like he said, we're thinking about trying to go to Colorado or maybe California. So, you know, Colorado is a short one too. It's only 14 hours from here. So like if we go, <laughs> if we go to California, you go love me for 23 hours, babe. Mm -hmm. You're going to get a lot out of van. <laughs> He says it's gonna knock me out. I'm a really bad back seat, front seat driver. Anyway, you're any seat driver. You could lock me in the trunk, and I'm gonna be telling you, "Hey, you're stopping too fast." Yeah. Lord. Oh man. Anybody that's ridden with her knows exactly what I'm saying. So make sure and comment: Are you a good driver? Or are you a back seat driver? What well, I say, I don't. I I'm the best driver. Everybody should just listen to me. I don't know if you guys can hear the husky snoring yes yeah, she's she got a new baby she got a husky so it looks like her and she carries it around everywhere and she's using it like a pillow right now and is passed out on it hey how's my hair what are you gonna do to me <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> what? I don't trust you. <laughs> you gotta do something. <laughs> That's gonna wrap it up for today's episode, guys. Thanks for watching the Insider Edition of COVID Corner, where we give you a, a little more background on us. Stay tuned for Monday's episode when you'll find out what type of coffee pot we bought and why we think it's so great for RV living. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and then head on over to Instagram and follow us at Long Haul Life Service. See you guys.